our favorite was one I stole from John Frankenheimer. Uh, I was doing a live television show, and I'd asked him, I, I started looking at old um, Playhouse 90s and you know, old live shows. And I asked him, I, I watched, uh, I think it was a DuPont show called The Snows of Kilimanjaro with Robert Ryan. And I asked him how he got Robert Ryan from one set to another live. Because you'd see, you know, he, when you do it live, you, don't, you can't cut away. And I said, how, how the hell do you get him? Yeah, you put him on a goddamn uh, uh, lazy Susan kind of set there. And you, yeah, you move the camera in close on his face so you can't see any of the shit around it. And you spin it around and you pull it out and you're on the other goddamn set. <laughs> so we did that for Sam when he gets the idea to do the dating. He went through in the bathtub. And it's a big, giant, circular set. And so we drew it up and I drew the cartoons. You know, Tom and Jim built the set. And the whole time we were doing it, we thought, it's never going to work. And like, you know, 12, 14, 15 takes into it, Tom looks over and goes, I think it worked. And we all just sat there laughing. You know, I can't believe it. We got away with it. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I was laying in a rubber suit on a board that they'd have to stand me up, I bet. Oh, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Working with the governor, actually. <laughs> I kicked his ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> destroyed the bad franchise and kicked his ass. Uh, I found myself as an actor to be quite good. <laughs> I found myself to be patient. <laughs> I listened a lot to the director. Well, I gotta tell you, I don't know, there's some directors here, I'm sure, and, and probably uh, some directors who've directed themselves before. It's a horrible thing, you know, it's embarrassing, you know. Let's face it, you're, you do, you rattle off two takes, and then you go over by the monitor and you watch, and you're like, oh, eh, that's good. And then you go away, because you can't do more takes on yourself than you've done on the other people, or they'll all be like, fuck you. <laughs> so you just go, well, that's close, right? <laughs> uh, it was helpful, uh, Ed, the sound guy, because he's sort of, you, the sound guy's in your head, you know, he's got the headsets there, he's, he hears everything you say. And I would look over at Ed and I'd go, and he'd go, you got it, and I'd walk away. Uh, I, I found it much easier, because it's embarrassing, mostly.